I've been volunteering on a farm for the past four weeks and Mill is our resident gamer. <laughs> she's from Germany and she's always wanting to like have us play games, so it's been fun. And then that's Teddy, the other, he works here. And this is Itai El Jefe. We have all stopped working as of right now. But so this is where I've been. I'm on a workaway and it has basically everything. Like this is a shower here and it has a compost toilet. And apparently I just learned today that you're not supposed to go pee and poop in the toilet. You're supposed to just poop only and I've been peeing and pooping so I don't know. Shower. Here, that they're, we're all in front of is the mud hut. It's made of mud, obviously. <laughs> Here on the farm, they host like a lot of retreats. Retreats, yoga, hot water. Over the weekend, we had someone doing like Wilm Hof, cold ice baths, and then a sweat lodge. So basically, and then we, one of the girls here does all the cooking. So we helped do all the cooking here. So I'll show you the sweat lodge. It was super cool. I didn't do it, but everyone who did it really enjoyed it. So basically people will come and rent the whole, in this entire space for the whole weekend. And look, it's so cool inside the nature. So like right here is where they held the sweat lodge. Can you see? It's basically, you put a bunch of blankets on it and then they light a fire here and then they add the stones to the sweat lodge here in the middle. And I, you stay in it usually two to four hours or I don't know, however long you can handle, but it's like a ceremony, which is, Cool. And this is Moringa. I didn't even know how Moringa grew, but this is Moringa. We have a couple teepees. Teepees are also used for when guests come, they can sleep on like mats. You can sleep here, another fire. And of course, we're on a farm, so there are animals because, you know, farm life. So what I've been doing here a lot has been, we've been cooking, we've been cleaning, we've been helping like the guests when they need something, we help with the animals. The other day we moved the donkeys, so now they're like in the field, which I'm gonna show you our garden. And we've been doing a lot of gardening and I've been doing a lot of fixing up the front area of the garden. And these are the little goats, I love them, and the chicken, and the chickens here too the goats and the chickens, and this is where we get our fresh eggs. I cleaned this entire pen the other day. Uh, it kind of still looks clean, but you know, animals, it, everything's kind of, you can always, you can be like doing it constantly. What? <laughs> It looks like the chickens are already in for the night. They're like going to bed. Okay, do you see Mr. Billy Goat here? He is a bit sassy. Apparently when they, a few months ago, they, <laughs> so in front of the door, normally there's like a bunch of wood because the goats got out. They like to escape. So <laughs> they would get out and escape and then <laughs> I would have to catch them. But the donkeys got out the other day so there is a mom donkey and then a baby. His name is Elvis. I'm gonna introduce you to him. He's super cute. And as well as some of the other things that some of the workers are doing, this is like a little creek, but it wasn't flowing because there was like a blockage. So, so the other day they fixed it and now we have like a mini pool and the uh, pump's working so people can go in here and take a dip. Not from he this area where I'm going, but from a different way around. And this is a papaya tree. They have papayas here and they have banana tree here well, as well. Uh, 
And when I first got here, they were building this like bungalow, which is finished now. So this is like also a space where people who rent the retreat can come sit, eat. There's a pizza oven right here. Okay, this is obviously an outdoor kitchen. <laughs> so uh, this is like perfect for when the guests come and they have like big groups, they can sit here and cook and enjoy. And because it's Israel, especially in the summertime, they do have some cold months, but right now everything is pretty much outdoor, outdoor living. Cause it is like, I mean, we are in the Middle East and a desert, so it is hot. And yeah, they made like a shade area so you can sit here and there's like lights and it's like a nice little area for when people want to come and hang out outside. And there's also another toilet down this way and then there's this is what we call the dome which is another area where people can sleep, stay over, host retreats. This is kind of like and all through this whole place you can see there are vegetables growing there are lemon trees lime trees orange trees every kind of tree because i didn't realize how much produce is grown here it's incredible Here, I'm on a moshav, which is like, it's like a farming, kind of like a farming village. It's not a kibbutz, but it's a moshav. It's like a little bit different. I don't really know the exact definition. It's like a farming community. So across the street, there's actually a dairy farm. And then there's a kibbutz up the road and they have a bunch of animals too, but that's like for them. But we have been going and getting produce from them when we need it. But this area are like fruit trees, lemon trees, mulberry trees. They're not quite ripe yet but and then this is all garden that's theirs so on Fridays we have a stand that we bring our like vegetables to and then it's like a self-serve kind of stand that everyone it's like the honor system but yeah so we spend a lot of time out here we also pick our own vegetables to eat and cook come you can come here pick your vegetables if you want some people pay like, pay to pick sometimes we pick it and they do orders and we spend a lot of time here weeding planting and making it look beautiful. organic so like I can like pick so I can like come here and pick the tomatoes and just keep them off the vine if you want and eat it I'm not gonna eat it because then I can't talk but yeah so we spend a lot of time out here picking and eating and bleeding and some of the other volunteers put them all up so the tomatoes are not on the ground now.
And here we planted sweet corn the other day. And, but first we pulled up the sweet corn and then we replanted. <laughs> so yeah, I'm good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the absolute best part of the farm because you know, donkeys. Who doesn't love donkeys? They're so cute. So we have Mama and then we have Elvis. Mama doesn't have a name, we just all call her Mama, her Mama Bear. But Elvis, and they escaped yesterday, so they were all over. As well back here is the compost, and it's kind of like a compost, donkeys, everything. Hello. Hi. I heard you guys were naughty. I heard you were naughty. Huh? What? What? Did you get out? Did you take Elvis for a walk? You want to show him freedom? <laughs> Elvis. Hi, Elvis. There you are. Hello, sweet pea. Hello, cutie pie. I know. What is this? Am I recording you? Am I recording you? Huh? You think it's food? You think it's food? <laughs> I see you guys later. <laughs> like the mascots of the farm. Are they not the cutest things ever? They're freaking adorable. <laughs> but they're so funny because they're so funny because they actually don't uh, compost file. They <laughs> they don't go up to everybody. They like the women, the females here, the women better than the men. So sometimes they don't allow allow the men to pet them but ever since i got here they've kind of always been like friendly with me so <laughs> they're so cute though i love them so i usually come try to visit them every day okay if i don't lose the light i'm gonna show you my my garden project i call it my garden but it's because when i first got here they asked me to work in the like the front garden so it's kind of been like my project for like the week. This is my third week here. So I've been on this Moshav, on this farm particularly. I'll leave the links in the description, the farm name and everything. Um, so you can Google it. But yeah, I've been here for three weeks. I The people here are amazing. Everyone's super nice. So yeah, so it's been a really nice, a really good experience to be here. Um, so yeah, let me show you my little project that I've been working on while I've been here. I've been working on this garden. So when I first got here, there was like, you can see all this stuff here. I've been taking out, cleaning it, weeding it, cutting trees. There was like a big fence here that was really ugly. And then today, like I said, we painted rocks. But yeah, so this has been like my little project. And tonight you see people coming, they're going to like a bio dance class. So they host, they host classes here, as well as for the retreat space, they have aerial yoga, they have yoga you can do. And then this is the bathroom area. Possible. No sé qué es. Ay. Viene ahora, ¿verdad? Nosotros. Gracias, posible. A qué hora es? A las siete y media. Siete y media. Okay, qué hora es ya? Debe ser ya. Okay. Siete y treinta y cinco. Okay. Ya la vamos. Es un poco tarde. Ay, yo quiero grabar un poco más. 
And this is our kitchen, like the volunteers and everyone who works here. This is like our space. And you notice everything's like indoor outdoor living because it's like I said, it's hot here. And this is like our living room hangout area. Toilets. That is the compost toilet that I've been going into too much, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, I might go to this bio dance class. Apparently the woman who teaches is Argentinian, so, and she speaks like Hebrew and, and Spanish, fluent. I don't, but they do, I don't know if I'm gonna go, because I wanna finish this, because the lighting is so perfect, I don't want it to go away. But you can see how big this mud hut is. Look how fun, it's so crazy. So for those of you who are like, well, I don't want to use a compost toilet, but there's a real bathroom too, see? And the other place there are real bathrooms, I'll show you. Yeah, so this is like the little rental that you can rent. So yeah, it's so cute. I mean, this is like super, such a cute little house. Hi! And now we're in the dark, yeah. So we spend a lot of time in here. If you need air, it's great. <laughs> So it is air conditioning and you have a beautiful view of the mountains And if you're wondering if there's like places to eat around here you can they we do cook here also like a, a lot of people request special menus or like vegan vegetarian food the kitchen is all vegan vegetarian so yeah and there's a coffee shop right there you can like see in the most shop there's not a lot of things there is a grocery store and two coffee shops this coffee shop is open in the afternoon and the other coffee shop is open oh. And there's grapes, but they're really hard. And the other coffee shop is open in the morning. So, and there's a grocery store. Plus we're only 30 minutes away from like a city, not a city, but like a smaller town called Afula. Okay, so this is the last place is like, we call it the yurt and it's somewhere else that you can stay. A little outdoor seating area also and an outdoor kitchen and bonus to this like when it's like how close you are to the goats okay if you don't like goats and chickens then obviously this is not good but I love them and the little noises they make so yeah so I've been here I will be here a total of three weeks by the time I leave I was going to leave sooner but I really like being here. It's a nice area, it's nice and relaxing. As you can tell, I'm already sweating, so <laughs> that was the only reason I almost left because it's so hot. But I am gonna leave Israel after probably maybe a couple weeks I'll leave because it's coming to summer and it's gonna be really, really hot here. But anyway, I just wanna show you where I'm staying, what I'm doing. Um, another part of Israel that's not the city life and like, yeah, what it's like being on a farm or on a moshav here in Israel since, you know, that's where I'm at. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.